what's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ayomide just in case you're new here you are absolutely welcome on this channel you're going to find DIY sewing tutorials and also pattern drafting tutorials in this tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you how you can modify your basic bodice block to an outer neckline which you could make into a blouse or into a dress however you want it and I'm also going to be sharing with you all how you can achieve various outer neckline styles because some outer neck could start right from the neck point some usually have a bit of a shoulder some are sleeveless some usually have a sleeve attached it entirely depends on what you want so I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can achieve all of those styles all of those variations right from your basic bodice block if you haven't subscribed to the channel please click on the subscription button below you could also turn on your notification so you can become notified whenever I upload a new video now let us get straight to the tutorial alright guys to get started I have gone ahead to mark out my lines I have the chest line boss line on the boss the waistline and my seam allowance of 0.5 inch the very first thing I did was to draw in my armhole and to do that I would have to get the midpoint of my armhole line I'm just going over to place my tape right on that line and I'm going in by 0.75 then on my chest line I'm going to be placing a quarter of my bust measurement plus half inch is and I'm going to be drawing in my armhole by connecting all of those points together I believe if you haven't seen my videos you would be conversant this is the way I draw in my armhole and it works perfectly for me and for all the people I have made dresses for on my waist measurements I'm going to be placing a quarter of my waist measurement plus one inch I took in for my dart so and that gives me a total of 7.25 and I'm going to be connecting that measurement to my bust measurement on the chest line always remember to put in your dart allowance now to carry out the under bust tightening I'm going to be marking a quarter of my under bust measurement and thereafter I'm going to be marking what I have left on my bodice which is one inch and I would divide that value by two to give me 0.5 so what this means is that I'm going to be spreading 0.5 on both sides of my dart so from this dart leg I'm going to be taking 0.5 I would mark 0.5 inch away from this dart leg and 0.5 inch away from this dart leg too and I'm going to be connecting the points together if you saw my previous video on how to draft a princess that from the arm oh, I did this this way I gave a detailed tutorial I gave a detailed explanation on how to carry out your underboss tightening this way so it is exactly what I'm also doing here and then I'll just go over and connect my points together once I'm through with that I'm going to be proceeding to my neckline and for the neck width I went for three inches because this is the yoke it is not supposed to be too wide and for the neck that I settled for 2.5 inches you could alter this to suit you anyhow you want it then I'll go ahead and draw in my basic round neckline with the base of my pattern master I love the versatility of this pattern master just in case you want to fix a sleeve to yours you want to have an outer neckline dress with a sleeve I'm going to be illustrating that so to do that all you have to do is to come up by I came up by 2.5 inch from the chest line although this is not a standard it depends on how much of your arms you want to review so I'm just going over to mark 2.5 inches and also for this pattern i would also like to illustrate the one with a shoulder i'm going to be marking two inches across the shoulder that is the outer neckline with a shoulder this is entirely optional there are various dimensions there are various alterations to a outer neckline and i'm going to be explaining that later i just want this one to have a shoulder so i'm marking two inches on the shoulder slant and i'm going to be connecting it to that 2.5 inch that i marked right on from the arm o line 
so i'm going to be doing this with the aid of my pattern master now like i said before there are different variations to an altar neckline you could have your altar neckline coming from your neck point all the way down to the 2.5 inches i max if you want a sleeve you could also have it from the neck point all the way to your chest line if you want it to be sleeveless and you could also eat into it could also come in from your neckline you could come in one inch below from your neckline and then mark it all the way down to the chest line it could even be deeper you could come as low as the midpoint of your neckline it entirely depends on you you would come from the midpoint of your neckline all the way down to the chest line if you want it to be sleeveless but for this pattern i'm going to be leaving a 2 inch shoulder slant and also 2.5 inches arm hole just in case I want to fix the sleeve with this and so this is going to serve as the yoke now the next thing I did is to mark 2.5 inches across this is to serve as a guide on how deep I want the yoke to be and then I'm going to be using a dotted line because this is not the final yoke for the depth of my yoke I chose to come down by 1.5 inch right from the dotted line i marked so i'm just going over to mark 1.5 inches below and i'm going to be using my pattern master to create like a sweetheart neckline a sweetheart style line right from where my outer neck is ending from the armhole region all the way down to the center front so this is going to be my yoke i will just go ahead and label this as my yoke for the front and then we are going to be proceeding to other parts of the pattern thereafter i got the midpoint of my shoulder slant my entire shoulder slant this is to guide me through for my over bust tightening and i'm going to be connecting that midpoint to my bust point or my nipple point so because i don't want to mess up my yoke i will just draw the line right from the neckline all the way down right from the yoke all the way down for my dart, I'm going to be taking half inch for that on both sides of that line. You could take more, you could use 0.75. If you're a busty person, you could use 0.75. And I'm going to be coming up by one inch from that bust point. Then I'm going to be connecting it with my pattern master. I'm using the curvy part of my pattern master in order to create that illusion of a curved bust area. I'm also going over to complete my under bust dart. I think I almost forgot to do this. So I'm just going over to draw in my dart properly as they should be. Okay guys, once I'm through with that, I went ahead to draw in that dart because I'm going to be taking it out and I don't want to be short of measurement. So I'm just going over to replace the dart over. So I went ahead to mark one inch, which is the sum of the dart I took in and then I withdraw my arm O. I would also go ahead to redraw the neckline so that it could meet up with the extension that I did. To draw in my bust dart, I'm going to be placing the difference between my front shoulder to waist and my back shoulder to waist, which is 1 inch. If yours is 1.5, place 1.5. And from the nipple points, I'm going to be marking 1 inch away because your dart is not supposed to get to your nipple point. And I'm going to be drawing in the bust dart. If you have been seeing my videos, I believe you should be conversant with these. So that's bust that we are going to be closing it and in order to close it properly i will just go over to trim off my pattern i'm just going over to trim off my yoke i will also open up the over bust that i'm going over to open it up and to slash it through the middle and also slash it through from the bust point all the way down to where the bust that is starting from then i'm going to be grabbing one end of the bust that and making sure that it aligns with my bust line once i'm sure of that i'll go ahead and secure it with a tape so this is what i'm doing i'm just going over to secure it with a tape then before cutting out my entire pattern i'll just go over to smoothen the edges if you notice a slight variation you don't need to worry just go over and smoothen the edges 
just like as i'm doing and then you can now proceed to cutting out the pattern so guys it's pretty simple and pretty easy to draft an altar neck pattern and there are different variations there are different alterations to the neckline as you choose but this one i did is the one with a bit of shoulder and if you also want to fix the sleeve so i have my panel one center front my panel two side front and my yoke and we are going to be proceeding to the back pattern for the back pattern i have gone ahead to draw out my lines and i have my chest line i'm just going over to indicate my chest line i also have my waist line i don't know why i wrote this backwards then i have my zipper allowance it is very important to always indicate your zipper allowance i have half inch for that on both sides giving me a total of one inch and my shoulder to waist for the back is 15. for the front it is 16 and for the back it is 15. the next thing i did was to draw my armhole so to draw in my armhole just like i did for the front i'm getting the midpoint of the armhole line and i am coming in by half an inch on my chest line i'm going to be placing 8.75 which is a quarter of my bust measurement plus half inch for ease the ease allowance is optional you could decide not to add half inch for ease and i'm going to be connecting all of those points together and i'm using my pattern master to do this so once i'm through with that i'm going over to apply a quarter of my waist measurement plus one inch that allows that i took in like i always say always remember to include your that allowance never forget once i'm done placing the measurements i will also go over to draw in to connect my waist measurements to my boss for the back neckline i'm using three inches for the neck width just as i used for the front and the neck depth is going to be one inch because i don't want the back to be too low and i'm going to be using my pattern master to draw in my neckline thereafter the next thing i did was to carry out my back tightening and to do that i marked half inch away from the waistline and i'm going to be placing that half inch i marked i'm going to be placing it on the other side of my waist this is because i'm going to be getting rid of that half inch i just want to create a slanted feature along my center back so i'm going over to redraw my side seam and i'm also going to be connecting right from my neck point all the way not my neck point right from my neckline all the way down to the waist so the part i am crossing out i'm going to be taking it off entirely now to draw in our outer neck style line the very first thing i will do is to mark 2.5 inches above my chest line remember we did this for the front and i'm going to be connecting it with a dotted line this is because this is not our entire yoke we are still going to be altering it later on afterwards on the shoulder slant i am going to be marking two inches this is because the front and the back needs to match up and from that two inches mark i'm going to be drawing the outer style line all the way to the 2.5 inches i marked above the chest line if you don't want a sleeve just take it from your neck point or wherever you want your outer neck to start from all the way down to the chest line then for the depth of the yoke i'm opting for 2.5 inches below that dotted line and i'm going to be using my pattern master to create a curve because i believe yokes are finer when they are curvy and not so straight so guys this is going to be the yoke for the back i will just go over and indicate that this is my back yoke and um, the part that i will be crossing out is not needed so for this yoke just in case you want to have like an opening at the back let's say you want to use a net for this yoke and you want it to have like a, an opening a circular opening at the back all you have to do is to get the midpoint of your yoke length the length of that yoke is seven inches so i'll just get the midpoint this is to serve as a guide on how to draw in 
that circular shape that opening at the back thereafter i'm going to be coming inwards by half inch this entirely depends on how wide you want it to open and i'm going to be creating a curve more like a semicircle with my pattern master so i'm just going over to draw in a curve to meet up with that 0.5 inch that i marked away so this part i'm crossing out I don't need it because if you are having an opening at the yoke your zipper will not extend to the yoke so this is going to be for the pattern and um, this is going to be for the yoke okay also this part is also not needed so that entire part I'm crossing out would be an opening at the back I hope we understand what I'm trying to illustrate here and this is going to be the main pattern so the next thing that I'm doing is to go ahead and cut out my pattern and then I'm going to be illustrating how to draft a color just in case you want to fix a color that is if you get to use this pattern Okay guys, I'm done cutting out and I have my back pattern. I'm also going over to indicate that I'm supposed to cut two pieces of this, one for the left and one for the right. Thereafter, we are going to be moving over to the collar, the collar pattern, which is quite very easy too. So to draft my collar, all I have to do is to draw a straight line of no particular length. I just drew in a straight line of no particular length. The next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be measuring around the neckline of both the front yoke and also the back yoke. So we are going to be measuring each of this neckline. So for my front yoke, I have about 4.6. Yes, I think I have about 4.6. I'll just write it today. For the front, I have 4.6. And then for the back, I'm just placing my tape right from the center back. I have 3.5. So my back neckline is 3.5. So guys, to proceed with the collar, this part of my pattern paper would serve as my center front so cf center front from that point i'm going to be marking 4.6 which is the neckline of the front and from that 4.6 mark i'm going to be marking 3.5 which is the back neckline i hope you understand from the back neckline i'm going to be marking 0.75 inches upward you could take one inch and i'm going to be creating a curve all the way down this is because the color is not straight so i'm creating a curvy illusion because our necks are actually not straight for it to sit well then from that 0.75 i marked upwards i'm going to be marking 1.5 inch which is the length of the collar if you want yours to be longer it is at this point that you would choose what you want if you want it to be two or three inches that entirely depends on you but it still follows the same procedure so i'm just going over to complete my collar so guys we have our collar already all ready and set the center front would be cut on fold so we are just going to be having one collar piece that runs all the way from the center front to the back. The next thing is to add half inch seam allowances all around the collar and this seam allowance should also take the shape of the collar. So this is what I'm doing and I'm connecting those points with my pattern master after which I went out to cut out my collar piece. So guys, this is our entire pattern, the front pattern and the front yoke. I also have my back pattern, my back yoke and the collar piece to all ready. So if this tutorial has been of great help to you or if any of my tutorial has been of great help to you, please give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click on the subscription button below and until my next video, have a great day.